I think that's like hands down the coolest thing that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> First time filming in a leotard in Target in Missouri. For those who don't know, the golden leotard originated in Target. I can swear, I can joke, I see what's on my mind. And it went like a little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Erica by my side, a little bit of Rita. This never not gets not nervous. so nerve-wracking if Target officially sponsored me. I mean, how many millions of views do I have to give you, Target? Unless I'm like all up on your face the whole time. Like. I think that would be fine given the circumstances. We're looking for a nice spot for him to run around me. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just walk it from, uh, from this angle. Uh, uh, Seriously, Target, you, you need to hit me up, okay? I love you and I love your employees and they don't make me feel uncomfortable. They just get to see all of this. And you know what? I bet their work productivity is much better. Their morale goes through the roof. They're like, you know what? I had a great day today. Some weirdo came in a leotard, was doing weird moves. <laughs> So I'm just saying, Target has the right mindset, not one for legal purposes, Wally Sharp. I should've worn my red one, then everyone would've thought I was just an employee. Let's get one of me on the ball. What? Dude, I have no way! <laughs> You're like, hold on, let me whip him out and show you. Get him out of here, flash him. <laughs> ah! Pull my people. Pull it off! There it is. <laughs> I think that's like hands down the coolest thing that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> you wearing your shirt while you're out filming? No, I wouldn't. See, this is another, it's an omen. Target needs to sponsor me. Good things happen at Target. She's yeah. gonna stand on it and jump off? No, I think I, I don't know if I can stand. You could. Okay, ready? I'm gonna do a couple posts. Huh? 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 Okay. Oh, hold on, I'm falling. Okay, jump. Just like a circle? Yeah. I hope around. people don't come and pee on these. <laughs> Is that dump truck? Oh, it's dump truck. I'm sorry. I thought it was dump truck. I'm not political. I thought it was dump truck. And this is a dump truck. <laughs> I like to go on record that I did not do the graffiti. I'm not mad about it. I live in a conservative area. So this was very shocking. However, it's also not shocking because I feel like this was probably done by somebody who was just like really gung-ho on Trump, really thought like they were like in it to win it. And then they were like, oh, there's this billionaire begging money from me, barely making ends meet. I had hard times where I had a mistress and possibly a baby, maybe pay for an abortion in this process. But I need, I would like to donate a dollar for my legal defense. That would be so nice. Like, I think at that point, people were like, you know what, dump Trump. That's, I don't think that was liberal graffiti. I think that was like some hurt, some hurt conservative graffiti. <laughs> but I, I did not do it. Have them, like, have like a good three seconds on me up close and then see if you can run backwards. Are you gonna just keep going against the door? Yeah. Okay. Let me get up there. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> no, three seconds solid on me. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Keep going. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I don't know why people say you can't live past the age of 34. That's when you start living. Ah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> just thought I'd grab on it. Okay, you ready? You see how red my hands are? I wouldn't think that the paint would be that fresh. I mean, didn't Kmart close in 1995?